Every single March, Habitat for Humanity hosts the annual Women's Build Week. This is a really amazing week because women get to learn all different tips and tricks about how to hone in on their skills for building, refinishing, furniture restoration, and a lot more. Today, we're gonna to be going over refinishing this side table. I've been in the refinishing industry for quite a while now, and it's been truly inspiring to see women become entrepreneurs in their own craft and take their skills to the next level. Let's get started. This side table has a lot of flat areas and moldings. One thing to keep in mind when you're refinishing is that a lot of older pieces have dirt and grease and grime. In order to prepare this piece to last a really long time, we need to clean it. That's step one. Let's get to it. Non-woven hand sanding pads are excellent for getting into these different moldings and the flat surfaces. But something to keep in mind if you're wanting to do your job as efficiently as possible is you can take the 3x4 Surf Prep Electric Ray and a non-woven hand pad, it goes directly on the sander and will do the cleaning for you with no handwork. So now that we've cleaned this entire piece, it's time to prep. Prepping is really important. We're gonna be using these Surf Prep Rod Pads in a medium grit. The medium grit is great for preparing the surface for adhesion with our primer. So I just sanded a lot of this tabletop with the Surf Prep Rod Pad in Medium. I'm going to show you how I'm going to sand the rest of the piece with a Surf Prep sander and a 5mm and half inch foam. The 5mm is going to be great because it's going to suck up all this dust that was left over and it's good on flat surfaces. Then we'll get into the half inch for all the moldings and squishy areas. So now that we've prepped this entire piece, we're on to one of the most essential parts, priming. Priming is essential for the proper bonding of the paint. I'm gonna be using Inspired by Use Tannin Blocking Primer. Since it's a smaller piece, I don't necessarily need to use a sprayer, so I'm gonna be using a paintbrush and a roller. painted every single place that we can. We want to make sure the piece is as good and covered as possible. So now it's time to sand again. We've got to sand for our first coat of paint. Now different primer has different dry times. The primer that we use from Inspired by You can dry and be ready to sand from 30 minutes to an hour. If you want the ultimate protection as possible, you can wait and sand the next day. I'm gonna be using a very fine rad pad for all the flat areas, and then I'm gonna take the Surf Prep sander again and show you how a very fine foam pad in five millimeter and half inch help get the job done. see I'm definitely able to sand the entire piece with that rad pad but if you want to cut your sanding time dramatically the sander will really help you save some time. So now that we've sanded the entire piece with very fine now it's time for the fun part painting. So we just put the final coat on this table and in between 
coats, because we did two, I sanded with a very fine rad pad just to make sure it looks as smooth as possible for the final product. So those are some quick and easy steps of how to refinish a table from start to finish, cleaning to getting a nice coat of paint on. If you guys have any questions, follow us on social media.